Hi, I've made this video to run through and explain what's easily the most convoluted part of the game, the military system. Hopefully, this will become redundant with the new UI in the Steam release, which, with any luck, will be released sometime soon. So the first thing will be to press lowercase m for the military screen. If you're on a new fortress, then you will only see Militia Commander as an option, but the other slots will appear as your population grows. To make a new squad, press lowercase c, and you will then be given the option to select from the default uniforms. To start with, I'll demonstrate the creation of a melee combat squad, so I'll go with Metal Armor. Ideally, your commander should already be someone who has skills in fighting and teaching, However, this dwarf who I'm selecting, who is now a legendary axe dwarf, was practically useless when I first started, so don't worry about it too much. Then add however many dwarves to the squad that you want, with the maximum being 10. From here, I'm going to create a custom uniform to ensure that this squad makes use of all the steel axes and armor that I have laying around. To do this, you simply press the lowercase n key to open the uniform screen. You can choose to edit the default uniforms, but I'm going to create a new one with lowercase c, and just give it a generic name with capital N. From here, by using capitals A, L, H, G, B, S, and W, I'll assign the armor and weapon types, the armor all being the generic type, while the weapon is specified as being battle axes, to take advantage of my overflowing axe stockpile and the prior training I've given them. Now with capital M, I'm going to go back through each type and assign the material to steel. Also note that with capital C, you can specify the colors, but its only real purpose is to torture yourself. Lowercase m will switch between exact or partial matches for your selection. I'm going to keep mine on partial because I don't have enough steel shields for everyone. They will still prioritize steel, but will also choose other materials if those are the only ones available. To equip the uniforms, press E to go to the equip screen, then capital U to go to assign uniforms. Then with each member, go and select which uniform you'd like to use, or press shift enter on one unit to select that uniform for the entire squad. From the equip screen, pressing capital V will allow you to check whether the dwarves are using the correct equipment by seeing if the green icon is next to the specified items. From here, I'll also assign my militia commander an artifact axe I have. This won't change the whole uniform layout, and will only affect this dwarf. Now, pressing lowercase u will take you to the supply screen. Raising or lowering these will affect how long your dwarves can be stationed or trained before they have to leave to get more food or drink. Dwarves require flasks, water skins, and backpacks to carry these, and these aren't assigned on the equipment screen but will just be picked up as long as you have them lying around your fortress. In the same way, I've also gone and made a squad equipped with leather armor and crossbows. You might come across other ranged weapon types such as bows and blowguns, but these are essentially useless as arrows and blow darts are hard to come by and can't be produced by your dwarves. Now, with ranged dwarves, it is highly important that you set their ammunition types by pressing lowercase f. You probably want to make sure your dwarves don't waste all your good silver bolts during training so you should highlight the default type and then press capital M to select wood. To make sure these are only used in training, use capital T. Then add a new ammunition type with lowercase c and specify metal bolts, followed by capital C to restrict them to combat. Now, the most important thing is to ensure that you have quivers for your dwarves to carry the bolts. Without them, the dwarves will never train or use them in combat. This seems really obvious, but is a common mistake and one that took me far too long before I finally realised. Just like flasks, water skins, and backpacks, these aren't manually assigned and will just be automatically equipped as long as you have them. With the equipment finally set up, you should now give them a training schedule by pressing lowercase s. Lowercase o and e will allow you to give and edit orders. If you are just starting out, it is easiest to just alternate between training and having no schedule orders in order to give them some time to rest. From the edit screen, it is generally a good idea to set the minimum soldier number slightly below the actual number in the squad, as this will allow some dwarves to leave in order to rest or gather new equipment or supplies. Once you're happy with the order, press shift and enter to confirm it. 
Then assign them however you like, noting that you can copy and paste them to make your life a bit easier. Now, another common cause of headache among new players is the alert screen which is accessed by pressing A from the military screen. Go into the active slash training section and select the squads to ensure they are not inactive. It's extremely simple but also extremely easy to miss. I hope you've all been able to follow along so far because we're almost finished. The last thing is to set up a training facility for the dwarves to use. First construct a weapon or armor rack at a carpentry or mason's workshop. Once that's been constructed, go into the building menu with lowercase b and place it where you would like them to train. It's typically a good idea for this to be somewhere that has quick access to food and supply storage, or is near somewhere you would like to defend. After it's finally been built, use lowercase t and q to enable it for squad equipment and training. Archery targets are set up in a similar way, but they're constructed directly from the build menu. Again, use lowercase t and q to assign training here, but also adjust the firing direction to suit the location. Now at last, after giving them some time to gather their equipment, the dwarves are finally training. You may have also noticed the ditch behind the targets. This helps you save on bolts, as any that miss the target may just fall down the hole instead of shattering against the wall. Then, if you unforbid them, dwarves will come and pick them up and put them back in your stockpile to use again. Digging a ditch in front of the targets won't work however, as in order to shoot at it, the dwarves need a straight and unbroken line to it. So imagine this. All your dwarves are training and making good progress until suddenly an elf barges in and demands you stop harvesting the local woodlands. What do you do? First, press lowercase s to bring up the squads menu. Then select who you would like to go meet in by using either a lowercase letter to select one squad or an uppercase to select multiple. You may want them all to move into position before the action starts. So press lowercase m and use the cursor to select the general area you would want them to go. Once they've arrived, select the squads again by use lowercase k for the kill command. Either use the cursor to select one target, or if there are multiple problems you want to eradicate, use lowercase l or r to select multiple, then confirm with enter. But if all of a sudden you instead decide to handle this more personally, cancel the order with lowercase o. Before selecting the squads, use lowercase p to decide which dwarves you would like to take care of things. Again, target who you would like to kill, confirm, and watch them go to work. This has hopefully covered everything you need to know to get a basic military squad functional. Thanks for watching.